Yo Ha ha Milk never said Wow YouTube what is good It's your boy Milk never said Coming back with another video And today I got the Jordan 11 <sighs> Jubilees Not not the X-Men Jubilee But the actual Jubilee Celebrating the event Of the Jordan 11 existence from 1995 to this year, which will make it, what, 25 years? So it's the 25th anniversary of Jordan 11. And me personally, I know how people have ups and downs and what they feel about the shoe. I came into this shoe, looking at it, based off the colorway, the specs and all that stuff. I'm a Jordan 11 fan. You can, you can see right here, I started the YouTube channel. My first shoe was the Jordan 11 went like 96 and of course the underestimated cap and gown because this this was premium material that they used on this particular jordan 11 and of course the concords came out followed by the breads now here's the thing <laughs> this review is going to be different unlike anybody else's that you've seen to a certain point because it's something that happened on at least to my account my account that has never happened before ever ever to my knowledge and most sneaker youtubers i don't know has ever done it this is manual no bots no 36 accounts none of that stuff i'm going to explain towards the end of this video how this these two transpired so anyway <laughs> the jordan 11 jamborees now originally when it came out it was supposed to be like the, the the jordan 11 25th anniversary but i guess to condense the whole lining of the naming convention they decided just let just I said Jamboree. I did, I did not just say, I just said Jamboree. <laughs> Jubilee. Jubilee. To condense it, since Jubilee means the whole anniversary, you know, instead of saying 25th anniversary, Jubilee. So, with that said and done, wow, I am so happy right now because this, out of, out of all the shoes of December, this is the one I really, really wanted. And I know there were some rumors going around that this is mass produced and stuff like that. Listen, I didn't hear anything official. And I'm going to actually doubt that this was mass produced. I mean, I think that there will be pairs available, but I don't think it's like to a level of the the breads and the concourse that we had. I don't think it's to that extreme uh, because you got to think about it. They're doing in December, there's two different 11s coming out. There's an, the Jubilees that we're, we're about to uncover right now, but then there's a second one called the Adapts. So I, I highly doubt that from a marketing standpoint, they're going to say, yes, let's do 1 million to 2 million units of, the um the jordan 11 25th anniversary uh but then turn around and do like 500,000 of the, the the jordan 11 adapts i, I just don't I, I don't see that but i'm curious to see what happens when i unbox this because i'm hoping hoping that everything is good i don't know about the early pairs a lot of people said that they got their early pairs and they did not see any flaws to it that is wonderful and there was a lot of people that had mixed reactions about this shoe some people were feeling it some people were not feeling it I was hoping that people that weren't feeling it would keep that same energy because it's one of those shoes that I believe that you're not going to appreciate unless you have in hand. But just the picture alone, I'm going to show you why I appreciate this shoe. So let's, let's open this up real quick. And you've probably seen this on other, other YouTube channels, but again, this review is going to be separate from any other YouTube channel, and I'll show you towards the end. Now, got here. Jordan 11 Jubilee, right? And of course, this is size 13. Now, you know what? I'll explain that towards the end. But anyway, this is size 13. You can see it right there. So this is a personal bear. <laughs> but as I remember, as I've seen, in order to unbox this, this is a dope unboxing right here. I think this lid pops up right here. Oh, man, this is so, this is dope, man. This is dope. And it kind of does. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's some fancy stuff right there. I like that. I do like that. But let's take a look at that paper. The paper does read 1995, and it has the years 2021. I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can see that right there. So make sure when you get your pairs, no Fugagas. You want the legit pair, start with the paper. Start with the paper. Let's just, oh, man. Hold on. Hold on. Let me let me let me do this because oh, this thing is beautiful. This is beautiful. Let me just put this right here and make sure there's no other things to check for in the box. 
take the paper out right here. And of course, you can look in here. You got a sticker right here. And then you have your sticker also down at the bottom. So make sure you're checking those things when you get your pairs. Uh, Jordan 11 Jubilees. Now, here's the thing. Let's just get straight into it because I'm going I'm to put it this way. And I'm going to actually have a still shot right here. When you look at the Jordan 11 25th anniversary, Jubilee, Jambalaya, whatever you want to call it. I'm joking. I'm, I'm seriously joking. But when you look at the bottom, you see that milky bottom. This looks highly, and actually it does look very similar. I'm trying to remember the shoe that came out. I think it was either last year. I'm pretty sure it was last year. It was called the Platinum Tints, Jordan 11 Platinum Tints, this shoe right here. And when you looked at the bottom, they're pretty much the same as these Jordan 11 Jubilees. The thing that's only, the only difference I see between the Platinum Tints and this is the fact that on that Jordan logo, that's uh, right near the um, the carbon fiber, I think that's red. And this is like a, it's probably white, but you see cream or milky because of the whole rubber outsole. And of course you got that hair bone traction, you got the pods on the front, the forefoot, and also the heel towards the heel of the shoe. Oh, man, that, that, look, listen, listen, I'm going I'm, I'm to throw them another comparison, right? So a lot of people are saying that they think that this is the Space Jams, but I will argue and say that with this ballistic, I think they call it black ballistic mesh or nylon mesh or whatever you can call it, this is similar to the breads as well, right? The, the upper, to me, resemble a bread or the Space Jams. That's just my opinion. But that metallic, this, oh man, this feels so good. That metallic Jordan logo that sits on the heel also reminds me of the metallic, it's not silver, but this is metallic black that they put on the cap and gowns. I'm going to tell you right now. <laughs> and then, look, look, you got the 23 embroidered on the heel of the shoe. And then you've got the whole Jordan. And I think that this part is cool. I like the fact that they did J-O-R-D-A-N on this side. But when you flip it on the inside, right, it's it's j-o-r-d-a-n so it's like it goes down this way but then it comes back up this way and for those that may or may not know tinker hatfield's original design included that whole jordan on the eye stays on both sides so some people may like it some people may like it i think i read some comments where some people said that they were thinking about just marking this black all black instead of silver me personally i love it the way it is jordan brand you guys are dope and I mean, dope for coming out with this colorway. I mean, it goes with anything. I don't know how you could lose with this. Again, the only thing I will say about this is that when you look at the slope towards the toe box, if you notice when you look at the Concords, it's more of a slope than these 25th anniversary Jordan 11s. Because you, you can see right here, like, what I mean by that is, do you see how it just it slopes, but then it kind of comes down like this? So there's like a... <laughs> like a corner to it here it's just smooth this these concourse it's just it goes so it's like a it's like a deeper slant on the toe box when it, on the concourse first the whole jubilees now similar actually i think as a matter of fact when i look at the the bread when i look at the bread and i look at the jubilees yeah this one has it's, it's, it's like it's risen up a little bit more but it's very 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 slight. It's like a slight difference. Slight difference. Another thing is, when Wet Like 96 came out, when the Cap and Gals came out, when the Jordan 11 Concords came out, when the Jordan 11 Breads came out, they all came with plastic inserts. And I just noticed this when I <laughs> when I unboxed the shoe. And I was like, oh, okay, I can't wait to see that plastic insert that we're going to get with the Jordan 25th anniversary. <laughs> Gotti! <laughs> Gotti! <laughs> Look, you can't win at all. I'm guessing that the, the money that they would have probably made or money that they would have spent on these plastic shoe trees got invested into the material that they used for the whole Jordan logo. And the fact that I do like that. I oh Man, that, that leather feels so good. They put leather, leather where you would normally see on an original Air Jordan 11. 
This is embroidered too. That that Jumpman Jordan logo. I don't know if it's gonna focus, but hopefully it does. That thing, this shoe is so, so beautiful. Now, with that said and done, I mean, that pretty much covers this beautiful, beautiful shoe, but here's what happened. I'm gonna get to it. So we all know the story, what happened, how it happened. Jordan did a shock drop on the sneakers app. There goes my scissors. Did a shock drop on the sneakers app and everybody was pretty much, you know, waiting for his, his son to go live, kind of talk about the whole sneakers app. It worked for, for Apple users, it wasn't working for Android. And, you know, I have my wife's account. I have my account in terms of the phones. And, you know, I was like, man, hopefully I can get this shoe. I'm hoping that I can get this shoe so bad. I wanted this so bad because I was originally I was going to get the shock drop, hopefully get the shock drop. But then, of course, when this releases in December, I was going to try to double up. I wanted to double up whether people liked it or not. I don't care about the resale. It's a shoe that I really like, a shoe that I don't really see re-releasing Again, because this is just commemorating the whole 25th anniversary of the existence or of the Jordan 11. Again, this is a shoe that I grew up loving so bad. And I don't know, maybe Nike knows me, but last year I got the Jordan 11 bread, multiple pairs from the Nike app, sneakers app, I should say. Concords, same thing. Nike, I love you guys so much and thank you for this opportunity because that's going to lead to my story for the second box. So here's what happened. We're there. We knew the shock drop was going to happen. And again, I have my wife account. I have my account. My wife account hits because I heard the ring go off. I'm like, oh, snap. Got the got him. You know, everybody's like, oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. Then I want to say like no more than like three minutes. And it's because it's, it's, it's it took a while. Two, three minutes later, my account went off. I was like, no way. No way did I hit on multiple pairs. Two accounts. Two for two. We're going to find out right here. So here's the second box. This one is from my wife's account. I can tell because the box is smaller. And I think this is a 12 and a half. And for those that may not know, I can wear Jordan 11's 12, 12 and a half, and 13. I prefer 12 and a half. It's just that 12 and a half is very, very hard to get because they don't make that many pairs. And size 12. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. All right, so. <laughs> just confirmed. Oh, man, how many people? This is what I said. You're not, you're not going to see this on any, any other YouTuber's YouTube page. Where multiple, like, what are the chances of that happening? Think about that. Because this was a shock drop, right? Shock drop, two accounts, no bots, no nothing. Just two accounts. And your boy was able to double up on a size 13 and a size 12 and a half. Guys, I'm going to tell you right now, I couldn't be more excited right now because just to have this in the lineup, it's just an honor, bro. It's an honor. I'm telling you. And again, it's one of these shoes. Let me just do the whole, you've seen the unboxing before. It's one of these shoes where, oh, make sure y'all see the size. This, this should be a 12. This is a 12 and a half. So as this smacks me in my face, but this is a 12 and a half. It's one of these shoes where it's like, it's not going to be released again. If it does, I'd be highly, highly shocked. Um, so, you know, you, your Concourse, they're going to re-release. Your Breath, they're going to re-release. Uh, even you can re-release when, when like 96 at some point, you can probably do it with the cap and gowns because it's technically a graduation 11 shoe. But certain shoes or certain shoes you know that are, aren't, that you like, that aren't going to go into like double up anytime soon in terms of re-retroing or re-releasing. This is the shoe that I don't see coming out five years down the line, six years, 10 years, because this is just commemorating 25 years of the Jordan 11 existence. That's why it's important to me. So anyway, just gotta check some stuff and oh my God. I haven't decided which one I'm gonna do the off on, but likely it's gonna be these 12 and a half right here. Cause your boy, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Like, how many people can say, yo, yeah, your boy got not one, two pairs of these bad boys. Double up. Jordan 11, Jubilee's 25th anniversary. Your boy is so stoked because these are the shoes that I wanted so 
badly low key. I just didn't expect to get two pairs of these. Did not expect to get two pairs of these. I'm so happy right now. Hey, I got to focus on my kids. When the December drop happens, hopefully I can get my kids a pair. We'll take a little family shot again. It would be dope. But your boy, by number seven, I'm going to do the on feed for the Jordan 11 whew, Jubilees. Look, Jordan brand, you guys, you guys did right with these, man. Once you, I, I, look, I promise you, you may sing a different tune once you see these bad boys up close and personal. I promise you that. You, it, you may. I guarantee you may. I think the only knock that a lot of people are saying is that they don't think it was going to look right when this starts to yellow. If that's the case, then you got to keep that same energy with the Concords. Because, I mean, when you think about it, eh, I guess you could say that. But eh, you know what? No, honestly, I don't think that's going to be the case. I think it'll be just fine if you get this shoe. That's just my opinion. I, again, I love certain Jordan 11s. The ones I wasn't feeling was those Platinum Tents. The, the, and I'm telling you right now, the, when you look at the Platinum Tents, you look at the uh, the outsole, it looks exactly the same thing minus the, the Jumpman logo being white versus red. It's red on the uh, Platinum Tents. But that was the one shoe or the one Jordan 11 high where I was going like, I, I ain't feeling that. I ain't feeling that. But your boy's going to say, let me do the off for these. Double up, man. Double, double, double up. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do the on feed. Today is what? So wait a minute, hold on. Tuesday. Today is Wednesday, I think. <laughs> That's just how bad I am. No, maybe it's Tuesday. No, I think it's Tuesday. Where's it Wednesday? It's one of those days. But anyway, you guys, stay blessed.